Hello, Heather. How are you? Good. I'm so honored to have you on today. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited. <laughs> yes, I'm excited because we have so much to talk about. Within the past few months, I say you have been making it happen in the modeling scene and the acting scene. I mean, you are making it happen. So I'm excited to talk about it and share with you everybody today. Yes, yes. It's been exciting. There's a ton of stuff going on. Yes, a ton. First oh. off, let everybody know a little bit about you, where you're based out of, just a little bit so everybody can get to know you. Yeah, so I am located just a little bit north of Denver, Colorado, mm -hmm. uh, Texas born, uh, where the accent comes from. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm in Denver and um, I'm a behavioral therapist and neurofeedback specialist by profession. And then I act and model on the side. And it has just been a whirlwind the last couple of months. Yes, you recently was a part of Denver Fashion Week. Yeah, Denver Unique Week of Fashion. It was mm -hmm. so much fun. And I think you, I was actually, I walked for Misfit Missy. And I think you've walked for Missy before, haven't yes, you? Yes, amazing. In New York Fashion Week. And I know you're going to be a part of New York Fashion Week as well. Yes, yes. And I'm <laughs> so excited. This um, Actually, Saturday, I'm doing a catalog shoot for Missy um, for a yes. clothing company out of New York who's going to start selling her stuff. So super excited about that. Mm -hmm. Tons of fun stuff going on. That is so amazing. And your gowns that you wore, oh my goodness. That they were so one, beautiful. I just got the pictures from the show today for the last the last gown that I wore that last night. And it was so much fun. Like I got to not mm -hmm. only close for Missy, but I got to close out the whole week. And so to have that be that model that got to have that final walk in that yes. game had me in was amazing. Yes, and not that many people get to do that, you know, as a model, it's not easy, like, and then for, to have the designers, they like, here, we want you to wear this, how does that feel? Oh my gosh, when Missy messaged me the night before, I was like, yes, yes. <laughs> it's an honor, it's such an honor mm -hmm. to close out for a designer. It is, it is, and not only that, you're modeling, but you're also acting and producing and tell us a little bit about getting into the film as well, film industry and what's going on with that. Yeah, it's been, um, it's been crazy busy too. Um, mm -hmm. I'm casting director for a movie called A Still Eye. Um, it's being directed by the same director that did Vinyl Transit that I was in in 2018. Mm -hmm. um, so that was cool that he asked me to come back on as the casting director and I'm going to have a featured extra role in that. Um, and then I just got cast for another movie who's, that's going to be filming, um, in Boulder and Denver in August. Mm -hmm. And then I've put out, I've had the last two weeks, I have had so many self tape auditions <laughs> yeah. that it's been like, it's been insane. It is. And you have been, like I said, during this pandemic, you are making it happen like no excuses and like you're you have not stopped not all year <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> at all. i haven't i you know i found during the pandemic i found a couple of photographers um uh, one of my good friends chris adderhold at arc light photography mm -hmm. um he and i just took the opportunity to shoot any time that we could. Um, and then Kenny Davis and I shot together uh, at the Great Sand Dunes. So we've, mm -hmm. I just, I made, took every opportunity that I could during the pandemic to shoot and to continue to build my portfolio. Um, and then I've been out to LA. Um, that was something that I've done since the last time I talked to you. I was an extra on uh, Masters of Illusions and got to come have a photo shoot and out there in LA um, with Andrew Cunningham. So that was really cool. Um, so yes, yeah, so it's just, things are just blowing up. And you have your business, you know, neurofeedback. And like you've been having appointments back to back. Everybody is, you know, reaching out to you and even appointments before this interview. <laughs> like, I just, like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just finished an, an appointment. Like that's like, I have not, my, my, I'm not as made up as I was the last interview because today I've literally had back to back appointments since nine o'clock this morning. Grinding. You are <laughs> I am. You know what? When you have goals, you got to do what it takes to get there. 
Yes. Now tell us a little bit about your business as well. Yeah, so I am a behavioral therapist and neurofeedback specialist. So I mm -hmm. offer counseling for individuals um, from child, you know, children three, four years old, all the way up to um, 80, 90 years old. Uh, so I do individuals, couples, family, kids, I offer play therapy. Mm -hmm. um, so I do a combination of all of that. And then I also do neurofeedback, which is, um, it helps to, it uses EEG equipment to help um, regulate your brain and calm your central nervous system. And it's a great tool for anybody who's experiencing not only mental health issues, but a lot of physical mm -hmm. health issues like migraines or seizures, strokes, traumatic brain injuries, concussions. It can help with all of those things as well. Um, so I have been really promoting that. Um, mm -hmm. And now that COVID is dying down or, you know, things are starting to open back up and, we're able to start seeing people face to face again. Um, I'm offering a lot more of that in my in my therapy, and I also do neurofeedback intensives, which is you come twice a day for five days and get basically ten doses of neurofeedback um, compared to the normal ten weeks that it would take. So I also have those that I'm going to start offering, and I'm almost fully credentialed in California, so I'll be Yay. able to offer services in California and Colorado. Yes, so you gonna be you gonna be up and down the coast. I am. <laughs> um, I will be as much as I can be there. I'll be there. <laughs> and you're balancing out family life. <laughs> yes, I have two kids, two daughters. Um, mm -hmm. One will be 17 in June. She just got her driver's license. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> that makes my life a lot easier. Um, and then I have an eight-year-old. So yeah, it's a it's a balance. It is. And they're able to see you, you know, pursue your dreams. They're able to see all of this unfold like we are, too. And it's, <laughs> we're here cheering you on like, go, Heather. <laughs> I so appreciate it. I yes, appreciate in it. everything you're doing. But we want others to also connect with you. You know, you have so many services that you provide, even you, they might want to connect with you on the modeling scene, you know, on the casting scene, what have you, you know, you are here to, you know, service them as well. So how can they connect and find you? Yeah, Instagram is a great place to find me. Um, mm -hmm. Heather Brooke Model on Instagram. Um, also have my website. It's heather-brooke, B-R-O-O-K-E dot com. Mm -hmm. um, so that's another great way. If you're interested in counseling or neurofeedback, it's Heather Meyer, M-E-Y-E-R-L-P-C dot com. Um, and so those are some really great ways to get a hold of me. Now, what's next, Heather? What is next for you? Well, this week I decided, because I, I've worked for another organization in addition to to my private practice. And so um, I've decided this week to take a leap into to more of that entertainment direction that I'm wanting to go. And, yes. um, and so I am cutting back my hours at that organization. And I am pouring myself into my individual passions and the things that I'm doing um, with the neurofeedback and stuff like that. And so, yeah, I, I, I have a a casting uh, for a modeling agency, um, mm -hmm. audition for a modeling agency on Saturday after my photo shoot with Missy. And then I have a showcase coming up for two um, national acting agencies um, in May so through my cat, my uh, acting coach. So there's, it's really there's happening. Stuff, like there's, yeah, things are happening. <laughs> Definitely. It is happening. And when you see it's happening, you got to go with it. You're yes. like, let's go. Yes, let's I just made a go. post on Facebook today. It was like, when God opens doors, he opens doors, right? Like, yes. And you got to be ready. Yes, for the, don't you ask know, for something you can't handle. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. When yes. God's ready to give it to you, he's going to give it to you. Now, have you, have you been able, or will you be able to spend more time with your children too, once you cut these hours down? Yes, it will allow me to have a much more flexible schedule and mm -hmm. to spend more time with them and doing things with them. And the fun thing, too, is like it's been that my girls, while that's not the thing that they're interested in, 
Mm -hmm. They like to come to some of those things. My my oldest loves Missy and her designs. And she was like, can Missy design my prom dress? Can she design my wedding dress? Yes. And so they like to come to the shows and support me and be there. And I filmed a reel on Sunday and my mm -hmm. little one was there right alongside my um, acting coach, who was our director. And she's like playing act or director with my acting coach. And she's like calling action for the shots and so even when I'm doing some of my other stuff outside of my profession, they're still able to be there with me through a lot of that and take part in some form of fashion and experience that as well. That is huge. That is so amazing, you know, because also a lot of kids, they start young, you know, at eight, and they're able to also be in it. You know, mm -hmm. you never know. One of your kids might be in the movie you in or, yep. you know, what have yep. you, so. That's kind of yeah. exciting. Definitely. Yes, it's, just, it's been awesome. Yes. Well, you know, this Sunday is the Oscars, and Missy is designing my dress. So <gasps> I'm excited. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Yay. I'm so excited <laughs> to see it. I can't wait to see it. Yes, Misfit Missy. So shout out to her, you yes. know. And, you know, it's Genesis, you know, I was so excited because she connected us as well, you know, because I knew you through Missy and Genesis, but Gen Genesis said, you got to connect with Heather. I was like, yes. Yes, I love Genesis. She is one of my favorite people. She is yes. so sweet. She has such a big heart and she's doing amazing things too. And mm -hmm. I am so proud of her. She is the connect. I tell you, she knows everybody and she supports everyone. She does. She supports them from the heart, you know. Yes, definitely. But I want to thank you for being our guest today. Yes, thank you so <laughs> you know, much. Thank I you know for having me back. There's so much more in store, 2021. And we're going to continue to support and continue to let everybody know about Miss Heather. Like, she is a mogul right now. She is an <laughs> entrepreneur. I tell you, a model, a mother. You know, you are killing it. I'm Once trying. I'm trying. <laughs> you know, I'm, right now, it's a season of blessing. Like, that's all I can it say. Is. Like, it's definitely a season of blessing. It is. Well, thank you for being our guest today. Much yes. love to you. You know you are welcome back anytime. And I see the people in the comments saying, awesome interview. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you, you, everybody. And, and God bless you. Thank you for tuning in to the Nikki Rich Show. Thank you, Heather. Thanks. Thank you. Bye.